The seven-day moving average of daily cases in the country has declined, and it is no longer artificial according to the Department of Health. Though not yet conclusive, the decline seems to be the effect of the implemented stricter lockdown measure. The DOH still has to observe its effect in the coming days, especially on the country's health care utilization rate. Meanwhile, the DOH says experts have recommended three scenarios for the implementation of community quarantine by May. First is to bring back enhanced community quarantine in National Capital Region Plus. Second is to extend modified ECQ until the end of May. Third is to shift to general community quarantine by May 1. So dito po sa tatlong scenarios na ito, nagpakita sila ng kanilang mga forecast. And base po dun sa mga sinabi nila, and as a health uh, agency, kami po sa DOH, nakikita namin yung importansya na maituloy pa natin yung mga ganitong uh, restrictions para po mas magkaroon pa ng pahinga o mas magkaroon pa ng decongestion ng ating healthcare system, which is primarily our major concern uh, dito po sa ating mga parameters. Health Secretary Francisco Duque III is in favor of extending the MECQ in the NCR+. Plus. According to Secretary Duque, it is better if MECQ continues until there will be a prominent decline in the country's COVID-19 cases. The health chief hopes that the MECQ will be extended in a week or two for a better situation in the country's health system capacity. Siguro mas maganda na ang uh, antayin natin ang desisyon ng uh, buong interagency task force. Pupulungin ng uh, interagency task force yung ating sub-tactical working group on uh, data analytics. Kasama ang pastor group, kasama ang ating technical advisory group and experts para magabayan ang uh, IETF kung napapanood ba na ipanatigin at uh, i-extend. Ano? Uh, ang uh, kasalukuyan community quarantine na MECQ. Aiko Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.